Hey guys, this is Saint Woven and today I'm going to show you how to use emulators on your Mac. In this specific case, we're going to be using OpenEMU and the basic reason is because it's not only the easiest, but it also has multiple emulators packed into one application. So it's a lot more convenient. Let's get to it. First, we're going to go ahead and go to openemu.org. I know it says not secure, but trust me, it's 100% secure. As you can see, the website kind of looks like this. It gives you different options to take control. So that's always a plus. And well, here we have what the latest version of OpenMU currently has. What we're going to go ahead and do, we're just going to go to download now. If for some reason you're running a version of Mac OS that is not supported currently, you have to go here, right? And try to see which one is the one that is currently supporting your Mac OS version. In my case, it was 2.0.7. Not a lot changes between 2.0.7 and 2.2.1, other than obviously like fixing bugs, adding some new systems and all that kind of stuff. The old original releases of OpenMU can be found on GitHub. Take into account that we're going to try and do this the old fashioned way. We're just going to go ahead here and press download. Now it'll take you to a sort of GitHub link and it'll start downloading up here. We're going to cancel it because this is not the one that my system currently supports. So once we download that and once we drag that application to our applications folder, we're going to go ahead and just open it. So let me go here to applications. Here it is. Open MU. And as you can see here, I currently have a Game Boy Pokemon version. So this runs fine, except that I kind of want to explain how exactly we're going to import games to OpenMU. It's pretty simple, but I'd rather show it. First, we're going to go ahead and go to ROMs Mania. That is the place where I get most of my ROMs and it's great. So let's just get a random ROM. Okay, let's go to uh let's go to super mario 3 why not let's download that now we're just gonna wait for this to download all right now that it has downloaded you're gonna notice a couple of differences here now that i have my downloads open as you can see pokemon yellow version has gbc which is basically game boy classic and super mario advance 4 has gba game boy advance just so you don't get them mixed up because they if you look at them in a quick glance it's gonna look a little similar so we're just gonna go to our finder here go to our downloads you can see that it's right here we're gonna open open mu Obviously, I'm going to make it a little smaller so I can drag it. And all you would have to do is go to, for example, Game Boy Advance. Open here. And just drag. As you can see, it's going to start kind of like loading. And there it is. Something to also take into account is that if you put a, for example, normal Game Boy game in the Game Boy Advance folder, it'll automatically appear in the regular Game Boy folder. So let's see. And it'll just open up. I think you guys are probably hearing the music that's coming from my Mac. Uh, I haven't really configured my Mac to actually get audio from inside the Mac, so I apologize. We're, we're, I'm not going to go through that right now. Another reason why I'm using OpenEMU, other than the fact that it has a lot of emulators in one application, is the fact that you can choose your controls. So if you go here to Preferences, right, and you go to Controls, you can actually set up what control you're going to be using. I'm not too sure why I have an Atari 2600 controller here, but either way, you can change the settings as you see fit. For example, in the later versions, you're able to see a PS1 emulator, and once you open your controls, you should be seeing a PlayStation 1 controller that if you have a DualShock 4, it's actually really comfortable to play on your Mac simply connecting it through Bluetooth. So guys, that was basically it for this video. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe. I hope this was useful for you and have a good one. Bye-bye.